In June of 2013, the Outer Banks Dive Center, in conjunction with scuba equipment manufacturer DiveRight, hosted an archaeological research expedition to the wreck of United States Coast Guard Cutter Jackson. Built in 1927, Jackson was one of 33 active class cutters. The active class cutters were designed to be 125 feet long and were commonly referred to as the Buckner Quarters. Originally built as prohibition enforcement vessels, they were modified to suit a number of roles in the following decades. Despite this distinguished history of service, two active class vessels were involved in the greatest maritime tragedy in Coast Guard history. Following America's entry into the Second World War, several of the active class Coast Guard cutters were converted for anti-submarine duty. Coast Guard cutter Bedloe and cutter Jackson were assigned to the eastern sea frontier to protect merchant shipping from U-boat attacks happening along America's eastern seaboard in the early years of the war. Just past midnight on 12 September 1944, American merchant vessel George Aid was attacked and disabled by a German U-boat in the vicinity of Cape Lookout, North Carolina. Worried that the U-boat would return to finish the job, the Navy quickly dispatched a rescue mission with Jackson and Bedloe assigned for escort protection duty. As the rescue mission was underway, however, a massive hurricane overtook the convoy, and despite the valiant efforts of the crews of both cutters, Jackson and Bedloe were lost at sea on 14 September 1944. Adrift for over 50 hours, those who escaped the sinking cutters were left at the mercy of the elements. Spotted by aircraft, the survivors were later rescued by patrol boats and taken ashore for medical treatment. Of Bedloe's 38 crew, 26 perished. 22 of Jackson's original 41 crew were lost at sea, a total of 48 men lost in the sinking of both cutters. The wreck of Cutter Jackson is approximately eight miles east of Oregon Inlet off the northern outer banks of North Carolina. The ship rests in approximately 90 feet of water and is regularly visited by sport divers and fishermen alike. Though its location is well known, Jackson has never been documented as an important historic military site. It was with this goal in mind that Bill McDermott in the Outer Banks Dive Center assembled a team of wreck divers with specialized archaeological training to document the remains of Coast Guard Cutter Jackson. The dive team employed basic underwater mapping techniques starting with the establishment of a measuring baseline across the wreck. Next, measurements of important features on the wreck were taken with relation to the baseline and then cross-referenced with the cutter's architectural plans which were obtained from the National Archives. Once a complete set of measurements of the vessel were taken, they were drafted into a site map that depicted the overall layout of the cutter's remains and cataloged important features such as the vessel's diesel engines. The site map also serves as the basis for future documentation of Jackson, part of Outer Banks Dive Center's ongoing objective to promote research, recognition, and protection of historic military vessels lost off North Carolina's Outer Banks. For more information on Coast Guard cutters Jackson and Bedlow, pick up a copy of Brian Galecki's book, Rum Runners, U-Boats, and Hurricanes, available at Outer Banks Dive Center.